wondering where on earth am I because you don't recognize my background right now well Charlie and I had a very early start this morning long story to get to our flat in Chiswick here on the outskirts of London today I'm heading into town shortly I'm getting an uber any minute now into Covent Garden where I'm gonna start a little bit of Christmas shopping very very excited to see how festive it looks in town I hope it's not too busy oh my goodness and then we are coming back to the apartments meeting some estate agents again I will fill you in later don't worry we are not selling our lovely apartment here in Chiswick and then I have a lovely festive afternoon planned. I'm meeting M. we're gonna to go to the Ritz and we're going to walk up uh, New Bond Street, look at all the lights, and then we're going to London Grace to get our nails done, which I'm very excited about. I'm dressed all warm and cozy. I have got my phase eight coat on, my lovely little headband, which is from River Island a couple of years ago. I have got these lovely little floral earrings in from Alex Munro, and that is my first stop this morning, their beautiful boutique in Covent Garden. Um, Alex Munro are quite famous for their little b uh, bees in lots of their jewellery. So to celebrate, I've popped on my cardigan, which also has the little bees on it. And then I've got my little Reese pleated skirt, Chloe boots, and surprise, surprise, I have got thermals on <laughs> underneath. We need to get this mirror hung on the wall. So anyway, darlings, my Uber is about to arrive. I will see you in Covent Garden. Okay, it is a shame. It is such a miserable day today. The last time I was here, it was truly magical. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. This is actually, oh, I think I can talk without this for a few moments. I think this area that we're about to go to is actually my favorite place to do a little bit of Christmas shopping. It's a little bit tucked away, but you'll see in a second, it truly is magical. So what I've done is I've got dropped off right by the Covent Garden tube station. I'm gonna walk down Langley Court, which is a really lovely little side passage. You may not know it's here. If you're just kind of visiting London or Covent Garden for one of the first times, you may not know that this little passageway is here. So you want to look out for the sign for Langley Court. You'll see Kate Spade is just behind me. And then as you go down here, you find Floral Street. And Floral Street is seriously magical. Loads of really beautiful boutiques. It's also a little bit quieter down here than like the general Covent Garden area, but the most beautiful boutiques down here. I've just seen there's a new Peloton shop. I don't think I've been here actually since the Glossier pop-up, which was, yeah, it was a year ago. Of course, I've, I've barely been in central London and it's like a ghost town right now, which is crazy, but I'm pretty sure it'll get busier later. But um, my first stop for the day is the Alex Monroe boutique. I'm really excited to go in there. I've never been into any of their boutiques before. Obviously, I've worn and loved their jewelry a lot including my lovely earrings today but as I've mentioned in so many videos Charlie and I are trying to support brands which are local to us Alex Monroe jewelry is beautifully bespoke handmade jewelry a lot of it most of it is handmade here in London I was actually emailing the team there and I said oh I hope everything's okay with corona I hope everything's okay with your production at the moment and they said that a lot of their jewelry creators actually took their benches home with them during lockdown and they were crafting some of the jewelry from home which I think is so lovely it just shows what a lovely company it is and the designs are just magical so I'm really excited to take you into the boutique and um, show you so we're arriving at Floral Street now let's go shopping it is looking festive in here my goodness look at this So of course I'm here to look at the jewellery but I have been blown away by the interiors in here. They have been trawling through antique markets and found the most beautiful bits of furniture. Charlie is going to definitely want to recreate this in his office.
So I couldn't resist doing a little try-on session. We have got a selection of their gorgeous rings here. The one that I've got on my middle finger down here is an ethically sourced sapphire. How stunning is that? Surrounded by these little diamonds and it just looks so, so elegant. I love to do a jewellery stack. So I've popped on a couple of additional rings as well. There are so many here. Oh, this one is so intricately made. It is or like a little wrapped present. You've got the gems, ruby, sapphire in the middle, all delicately wrapped. So, so beautiful. And then I love that they've got all the little animals too, swallows, dragonflies, something a little bit more almost astrology style with the stars. I feel like whatever someone's passion might be, whether it's sea creatures or florals or birds, you'll find something perfect for them in here. Let me show you another of my favorites. As you may remember, Charlie and I met in the Maldives, so I have a bit of a, a love for all things under the sea. Lots of lovely memories. This collection has got, you've got some coral and a little fish down there, seashells. That's a little whale, so magical, a collection of shells and starfish. <laughs> There's even a gingerbread man. So many of these pieces are inspired by Alex Munro's house and his life. So there's a little collection over here inspired by his greenhouse, which is lovely. You'll see the bees. There's even some props to represent the greenhouse, even his little hunter boots in there. Watering can. <laughs> I think Charlie would love that, my goodness. It's all just so very personal. That's the necklace that matches the earrings that I'm wearing now. Little bugs, little nests, lots of feathers, so many bees. It really is absolutely beautiful. This would be a really gorgeous gift idea as well. This is one of the birthstone signet rings. So you can choose the birthstone based obviously on the birthday of the recipient. And it's actually got inscribed in here, a star to guide me, which I think is so, so lovely. Very elegant and also, oops, perfect for stacking if you know someone that already has some favorite rings. That'll be a gorgeous one to add to their stacking cluster. Okay, I had to show you this little display. They've even got like a rusty, a rusty wheelbarrow. And then this looks like the flowers that we have got growing in our hedgerow right now, the cowslip. So magical. Or it could be, um, what are they called? Those like giant purple, I'll pop the name of the flowers on the screen here, but you might remember we grew the purple ones over the summer and they were my favorites in the garden. Got some dried flowers on display, the butterflies. Everything in here truly is magical. Makes me want to go antique shopping wearing all of this beautiful jewelry. Got the dragonflies on the grass, dinosaurs and pearls. If I wore that around my nephew, he would go absolutely wild. He loves little dinosaurs. No matter what someone's passion, there will be a perfect accessory in here for them. So in this magical room here at the back, you'll find the fine jewellery, 18 karat gold, so beautiful. Lots of very, very delicate jewellery here. Tiny little elephant, oh my gosh, that is magical. <gasps> Look at these, wow, if you know someone who's a bit of a magpie. Loves the sparkles, that is spectacular. And look how beautifully they're presented as well on the antique books. And I definitely want to rebuild something like this in our study. And the colour of the walls in here as well is so lovely. I'm inspired by everything. Look at these bookends with the globes, that just looks so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Interior inspo and jewellery inspo all in one shop. I think you guys won't be surprised to hear that I was very drawn to these to begin with. So they're these lovely, almost like hammered effect huggy hoops and they've got these beautiful Baroque pearls underneath. And these are part of the natural history collection, which is so lovely. So I just asked the girls what the best sellers in here are. And one of my favorites of the best sellers are the initial um, necklaces. These are all sterling silver and then gold plated. And then of course, iconic for the brand is the B collection. 
So they've been very well known for the bee for the past 10 years, coming up to 10 years. And it all started when Alex rescued a little bee from their garden and it needed, needed um, bringing back to life with a little bit of honey. And then from sketches of that very bee, became, bee came, <laughs> bee, it became the iconic symbol of the brand. So of course there's lots of different bee necklaces. And I've got my I've got my bee cardigan on to celebrate. And then I just also want to show you if you love the initials or you want something really lovely and dainty. And the bee collection and other lovely little charms um, comes in the teeny tiny collection, which is very, very dainty. If I go this way around, you might see it a little bit better. And these are solid gold. Wowza. Very, very delicate and also great for wearing as more of an everyday piece, but also you can layer that up, layer it with your favorite pieces. So many gift ideas. Gift for oneself, perhaps. <laughs> I couldn't resist trying on the paleontology necklace. So if you look closely, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but it's actually got little imprints of fossils in the necklace. It's a very lovely weighty design. It hangs so beautifully, it's very effective if you're wearing a v-neck or if you've got a simple bit of knitwear on and this is again part of their natural history collection. Okay I just have one more amazing story to tell you. So at the beginning of Covid Alex Munro launched a competition to budding jewellery designers and they couldn't end up picking or just one winner, they ended up picking six winners and this is one of the winning designs here that's gone into production and this ring, I don't know if you can see clearly, I think you can, it's actually lots of tiny little houses, very symbolic of where we were all spending our time during the early days of lockdown. It also comes in gold, which I'm going to have a little look at. It's just so many lovely stories to the brand that makes you love it even more. Oh look, here's the gold. How lovely is that? So in this brochure you can read all about it. Neighbourly Houses Ring, an entry by Amelia Dangal. Hope for a time can be together in our houses as we please, but by pride that when we needed to, in our houses we stayed, entertaining ourselves in new ways and helping those who are trapped within them. Oh, that makes me want to cry. And here's the gold. I think it looks really effective from further away. You just think it's a chunky ring. And then when you look up close and you see that it's the houses, things like this are such lovely conversation starters. If someone compliments you on this, then you've got a very lovely story to tell behind it. Okay, we are mission accomplished. I have got some goodies, which I'm gonna show you as soon as we get back to the flats in Chiswick. Apparently every hour from 2 p.m. they have artificial snow coming out on the Covent Garden Piazza. So I think I'm gonna nip that quickly now. Um, have some breakfast with Charlie because we actually went into the store before it opened, which is very kind of the Alex Monroe team. So I had a little bit of a private shopping experience because I wanted to film, it just seemed a little bit more fair um, to do it that way. So it's still early, I'm gonna head back to Chiswick quickly. I'll show you the lovely bits and then I will continue doing Christmas shopping. So at Covent Garden, it's gonna get so busy here later, I can imagine. I'm so glad I got to see it while it's quiet. Oh, can you see the flowers up there on the Ladere Terrace? The Apple Market. Oh, it's so magical. If anyone is coming Christmas shopping in London, it doesn't get more magical than Covent Garden. So lovely. I even love these little floral carts. I really want to get a cart like this for in our garden. If anyone knows of any antique carts, where I can get them, please let me know. Right, now it's mission, find a taxi. This is another place I'd recommend coming for Christmas shopping. Petersham Nurseries. Are they open? Not yet, I'll have to pop back later.
to Chiswick. I don't know what my hair is doing. I'm having the weirdest hair day ever. I think I need to just keep my hat on for the rest of the day. So back at Chiswick and we have just had a couple of estate agents come round because with everything that's going on, we basically just don't use our apartment as lovely as it is here in Chiswick. So we've decided we're gonna look at getting a tenants here. So um, that's what we have been doing. Dexter wants to keep it as his bachelor pad. Yeah, Dexter wants to keep it as his bachelor pad, but we uh, we said he's not old enough to look after a property by himself. So that's done, and now we're going to head to Chiswick High Street. We're going to have a little look in the antique shop there. That is the antique shop where we got our um, bathroom cabinet. Bathroom cabinet from, which so many of you absolutely love. It's a place called the Old Cinema What's on Chiswick High Street. What? You after the later. Oh no. Um, and then we're going to have lunch at the Soho House Brasserie on Chiswick High Street. But first I'm going to show you what I picked up from Alex Monroe. So you'll notice that I'm still wearing the necklace that I tried on in the store. Could not resist this. I just love, love, love how this looks. I think it's so visually effective. So beautiful. Okay, so are you ready for an Alex Munro jewellery haul? Look how many boxes I have, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna start with the pieces that I am going to pop on now. So inside this purple box, it's um, a different coloured box because it's part of their fine jewellery collection. A lot of these pieces are one-of-a-kind bespoke pieces. Um, the price point is slightly higher on these pieces, so these are very popular as engagement rings. Look at this. So this is a sapphire ethically sourced from Madagascar with a halo of diamonds around it, and I'm pretty sure this is the most spectacular ring I've ever seen. <gasps> it is so, so beautiful. So I'm actually going to pop this on my middle finger. Oh, it is so elegant. And then I'm going to pop this one, which is from the main collection, over the top to layer it up, exactly like I did in the store because I just thought that looked so, so beautiful. Oh, I think I'll actually keep you there and then I can use two hands to go through my jewelry. Oh, <laughs> that's an empty box because I just put that ring on. Okay. Next we have this beautiful necklace and this is a combination of some of their alphabet pieces which you can get on their own. So you can get just a plain pendant necklace um, with just one letter on it. So I could get a J for example, but this is L-O-V-E. I think that'll look really lovely. Worn either by itself or layered up with some other beautiful pieces. I want to take a gorgeous Instagram photo for Alex Monroe. hopefully maybe tomorrow. Um, if it does actually snow, that could be rather magical. You guys know that I cannot resist pearl jewellery. So these are the little Huggies and the Baroque pearls. You'll have seen me swooning over these in the shop. So naturally, I picked up those as well. In here, we have the bracelet version of the necklace that I'm wearing now. I can probably show you a little bit more clearly um, in the lighting here, but they've got embossed or imprints of little fossils in there. As I mentioned, this is part of their natural history collection. It's so unusual, so beautiful. Um, and then I think this is the last piece. So this is the necklace that actually matches the ring that I'm wearing here. Again, a lovely piece for layering or just really striking by itself. And this is sterling silver, but then um, plated in 22 karat gold. And then I noticed at the end that they also had this book on display. It's called Two Turtle Doves, and this is Alex Monroe's book, and it's got lots of different tales about um, how the pieces were imagined, how they were designed, how they were made. And I just thought, what a lovely stocking filler for either a fan of the brand, someone who loves discovering how creative businesses were started, anyone that's interested in starting a jewelry business. Uh, I just thought this would be really, really interesting. So I'm gonna look forward to having a little flick through this. Might pick up another couple of coffees. Uh, coffee? Copy, copies for stocking fillers. So I am very pleased with my Alex Monroe haul. It was a great way to start my festive shopping today. So now as I mentioned, Charlie and I are gonna go for brunch, but first I'm just gonna dash around the flat, make sure it's all tidy and clean and perfect because my lovely friend Rory and his husband Nathan are going to be staying here for the next couple of weeks. As you may know, they currently live in New York, 
but of course they want to spend um, the festivities with their families who are here in the UK. So they're actually going to be quarantining <laughs> here in the flat for a couple of weeks until Christmas. So I just want to make sure it's all perfect for them. So I'm going to dash around and I will see you later. And just in case you haven't seen my earlier vlogs, this is what our Chiswick flat looks like. It's very, very cute. We've gone for quite a minimal theme, of course. It's got a teeny tiny little kitchen. Very sweet little kitchen, actually. It's got everything that you need. Everything that the boys will need while they're staying here. Rory and Nathan, if you're watching, we've got you covered. Beers, champagne, well, I think it's Prosecco, actually, and some gin and tonic. Thermomix, of course, etc., etc. Bathroom's in there. We haven't done anything with the bathroom yet. Did you grab the post? Yeah, I saw it off here as well. Well done. And then down here, we just have the lovely little boudoir. The bedroom's the thing that we've done the most with and the best. It looks the best. There you go. Yeah, this bedroom is seriously cozy. All crown paint, and then we put the, um, the pretend paneling in here. I think it is lovely. Seriously beautiful bedroom, and then the it's got. Nice when it's up because it's the same colour as the wall. Isn't it, it is the exact same colour, and then we've got a little walk-in wardrobe through there. Very cute. It's a gorgeous little flat. Someone will be very very happy renting this place out. Okay, so this is our favourite antique shop in London, the old cinema. I've definitely spoken about this quite a few times, and it just happens to be right next to the High Road House, Soho House. So very convenient. Let's go and have a little look. We've literally just stepped in the door and we've already found something that we love. They're 50 pounds. It's quite a lot, but they're nice. I thought maybe one and then we can put one of our new candles in there, you know, the new ones. Yeah. I think one's enough. Yeah, lovely. Do you? Yeah. That is a lovely chandelier. Something like that at the top of our stairs. Mm, that's actually quite nice. It's, it's lovely. quite tall enough for it. It needs much lighter currently. Yeah. Oh wow, look forward to the gym. Plus oh my gosh, that's brilliant. I love the old suitcases too. That would be awesome in the gym, wouldn't it? How much is that? That is really cool, even just for the visual. Yeah, more for visual actually. I'd get that. Huh? I'd get that, that's awesome. So we're going for quite an old school, retro, 70s America kind of theme in our gym. So a leather punch bag and these old school footballs would be great little props, even if we don't use them for workout purposes. I've just fallen in love with this table. I've actually been looking for a marble table for quite a while because they look so lovely at Soho Farmhouse. This one is called the Fabulous Marble Table with Iron Base, £450. I think we are gonna, gonna get that because I mean that table, imagine if that table was on the Soho Home website. That would be £800 plus, wouldn't it? Oh my gosh, in the fireplace. That's awesome. How much is that? That's amazing. That actually really suits the style of our house. Or do you want to get that and I'll get the marble table? Don't you prefer the Soho home one? We've spotted in the corner this cute little bar trolley, potentially, potentially for in our bathroom between the sinks. So I have just fallen in love with this bit of furniture here. Let me tell you the official name of it. Oh my goodness. French provincial washstand. I actually um, saw something like this on Instagram and I had been looking for something like this for in my powder room. The sinks that I'm getting installed are marble and I am gonna need another area for more beauty storage and I know it's shallow but <laughs> taking pictures and this is just absolutely perfect. It's oak on the bottom so it'll match the floor and then the marble on the top will match the sinks and I'm not gonna lie, yes it's expensive but for an antique bit of furniture Oh, it's just absolutely beautiful. I'm really, really happy with this. Guys, how funny is this? This is the exact spot that we found our bathroom cabinet from and they have got a very, very similar version. 
in its place. It must be from the same French parfumerie. Let's see the price of this one. 895. I think we paid around 600 for ours. But if you are looking for something similar, here it is. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, just had the loveliest lunch at the Soho House on Chiswick High Street. It's called High Road House. I would have showed you, shown you how beautiful it was in there because it was so beautifully decorated for Christmas. But unfortunately, you're not allowed to film in there. I had the most delicious lunch. I actually had a vegan burger and then coronation chicken croquettes as my starter. And they were so good. Charlie actually said it was probably one of the best things he's ever eaten. So if you have membership and you live or go anywhere near Chiswick, I would go into High Road House just for the croquettes. So they were that good. I did also make a few fairly large purchases in the antique shop. So I will show you those when they arrive. We're getting them delivered. I'm now about to meet Em and Emily at the Chanel store on Bond Street. I think one of the girls is treating themselves or both of them, I'm not sure. I presumed, I don't know, just a fun little girly shopping trip. Then we're gonna mooch around together, get some coffees, look at the Christmas lights, do some Christmas shopping. So it's gonna be a lovely afternoon. Okay, we've made it to the most festive street in town and I have Yay! met the girlies! The we have been doing some very naughty shopping. Yes. Handbags and chocolate. We the two it. most important the things in life. Of shopping. <laughs> yeah. We're like damp Christmas okay. elves. Yeah, we're very so like, I'm so sorry, I'm not even offered my brolly. It's, no, it's fine. fine. We're oh. just embracing the festive spirit. We're on a hunt for an eggnog latte. I'm so excited. Whoop, whoop. Let's go. I have to say, the best kind of people are the kind of people that will dance with you in the middle of the London streets without having anything to drink. Am I right? Life is too short to not just have a dance. Absolutely. So we just had an impromptu dance fest down Burlington Arcade, and now you live once. You just got to embrace life. Bring some sparkle. We need some sparkle this year, so we are bringing. We're bringing the sparkle that Corona stole from us. And we're still on the hunt for our eggnog You have to make your own sparkle sometimes. Absolutely. Sparkle. You should put that on the t-shirt. Yes. We're just going to pop in to De Beers. I'm going to get my ring sparkled up in time for the festive season. It's not often that I get to come into central London these days, so it's nice to get a bling on while we can. Well, we weren't expecting this. There is a Moet et Chandon vending machine in De Beers. <laughs> We've got to give it a go, haven't I'm we? I'm going so hard. <laughs> Here we go. Here no we way. Go. <laughs> Cheers to that. Oh, hello. Oh my goodness. That is just so colourful. I'm longing for this Christmas when everyone's around to share this holiday. Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy But now this year is twice as special Cause I'm hoping for us to fall in love In this winter wonderland And just like that, I'm back home again with my little boys Someone is excited to see their mummy 
<laughs> Not Charlie, obviously. Mm -hmm. It's Dexy. You're such a lover. I just really love being in YouTube videos. Oh, you're so lovely. He's such a lovely <laughs> chap. A bit small. Oh, come and kiss your mummy, then, little boy. He doesn't need much of a doesn't need much of an invitation. You may have noticed that since lunch, I have no longer got my skirt on. Well, I had my oh, sweaty Betty leggings on oh. underneath my skirt the whole day. And at lunch, I was like, this waistband is just too tight. I'm just going to take the skirt off and walk around in my leggings all day. So that's what happened. Yeah, it's a really lovely afternoon. I was just filling Charlie in on what we did after our coffees. Went to London Grace. And I'm so pleased with my nails. I got the ombre... I think you probably saw it better in the salon. The ombre gold nails. And they look so, so good. Just returned back home, got the train back, um, and I just wanted to share a delivery with you. I was going to say every day feels like Christmas, but it is almost Christmas. <laughs> um, and whereas if you've been watching my videos for over a year, you might know that at this time of year, brands often host like Christmas dinners, Christmas sleepovers, Christmas events, um, just to kind of say thank you for us showing support throughout the year and to show off their Christmas collections but obviously brands can't do that this year so a lot of brands are being very generous and sending gorgeous Christmas mailers so today's one that we're about to unbox I'm very excited I don't know what's inside is from Carolina Herrera isn't it yeah and I, I'm excited because mm. I think they've sent me a fragrance so I've never tried their fragrances Ooh. and Should Dick is excited because it means he can play with the box yes we love boxes okay when everyone's around to share this holiday, yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy. But now this year is twice as special because I'm hoping for us. Oh, my goodness, we have been truly spoiled, and this is the loveliest idea from the Carolina Herrera team. So, how funny amazing, that we have. Big, we've started a bit of a collection of these very tall candles. They're amazing. They they're are hand, stunning. They're, they're handmade, aren't they? Hand they're poured. Like, they're strong like this, aren't they? Yeah. Look. And you know what? Good candles are worth investing in because <laughs> no, but they are because these were. I mean, even the ones we bought some today, pound fifty each. Mm. Sounds like a lot because ten were like twelve or eleven fifty. Yeah. Um, however, they're much thicker, and the cheap ones I got on Amazon. They'll burn within a day, yeah. like within a meal, whereas the more expensive ones actually last two or three times, mm. which I reckon then, price per use. So let me show you what was in that very, very generous gift box. It is basically everything we need for a very romantic dinner, darling. Mm. My goodness. So as well as the candle and a cracker, we have got the fragrances, of course, Bad Boy and Good Girl. I'm excited to try these. Ah, I have yeah. heard have amazing things. No, I don't believe I have. Um, and then... The full dinner set. So we have got these very glossy black charger plates underneath that my camera is struggling to pick up. These beautiful plates with the gold trim, the most Instagrammable cutlery I think I have ever seen. Very, very cool. Glasses are my favorite thing. Oh, show the champagne glass, that is yeah. just stunning. Like the most beautiful champagne and glasses. that's what champagne glasses were like originally before they were flutes. And actually, the more you look at that design, it's much more classy than these tall flutes. I know we've yeah. got lots of them. It is stunning. It? It's much nicer. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. And did you know, I'm sure you know, but did people that are watching know... No, yeah, so this, uh, the original champagne glass shape, apparently is designed as per the shape of Marie Antoinette's breasts. Is it not Mary? Marie Antoinette, oh, right. French. Yeah, um, so, as well as the champagne glasses, we have a little bottle of champagne over there. What is it, darling? It is, I think it's pronounced Renaud. Renaud? Um, it's a really nice champagne. Is it rosé really or nice is it a... Obviously, I can't drink it, but... Huh? Classic. Is it rosé or classic? No, it's classic, but it's Blanc de Blanc, which I think is a... I don't know if that means it's a couple of different grapes combined. I don't know. I don't know enough about wine. But They've they even... Really good champagne. They've even sent the um, the table decor, mm -hmm. these dried flowers in this gorgeous little vase, and Le Piste de Resistance, they have sent us some Delsford vouchers, so we can go and pick ourselves that's, something that's to snuffle. That's an absolute winner, that's an absolute winner, isn't it? I think they sent the uh, the London crew, crew um, Uber Eats vouchers, so they will be tucking into their Honest Burgers, or their, I don't know, they could even, well, it depends where they live, they could be getting a Nobu, they could be getting... Good. Sexy fish. Even when we were in Chiswick today, I was looking at the delivery out of interest. Mm. 
and the delivery options in Chiswick compared to Clapham are ridiculously good. Really? Yeah. Such as what? Well, like loads of different sushis because they've got oh. you think Chiswick High Road is quite a long road and there's a lot of restaurants. Yeah. Whereas where we lived in Clapham, yeah. Clapham High Street gradually got worse and worse. And then, and but then on the flip side, the really fancy restaurants wouldn't have put themselves on delivery. Like Trinity. No, yeah, true. The dairy. I was just thinking this will look lovely in one of the guest rooms eventually yeah, as well. Yeah, so oh, nice. It's just such... Do you know what? I'm impressed, A, because it's difficult, because every brand obviously has had to be creative, but it's hard when it, every other brand's thinking of similar things. Mm. But all of the brands that we've had these lovely boxes from have come up with different ideas, different yeah. things, and the concepts work really well. It has. I think it's going to change events. Oh, yeah. Possibly, though... I miss the social inter social interaction and, and like the chatting to people. Yeah. However, what I would say is there's a lot of cost and, and time spent planning these huge events that don't always maybe I don't know bring generate the return on investment. Much. Yeah. yeah. It's really interesting when you think about the return on investment because speaking very frankly, what the what people in our industry charge for certain things, such as a vlog feature mm -hmm. or like an Instagram story, yeah. and what you can get for yeah. sending out a lovely box like this. But these, you know, these boxes are a serious investment as well. I just think... Hugely. I'd love to know, I bet you, and I just keep saying this, don't I? I wish BBC News did an at the positive hour every morning. Not saying, like, these are positive things that are directly happening because of COVID, because obviously the bad always outweighs the good in that regard. But in terms of, like, positive things that are happening, I bet, like, there's a lot of companies that are going to make a lot of money and become really successful based on this whole concept. Yeah. Like events at home sort of thing. Yeah. To go with a Zoom or to go... I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't want the world to change completely, but I just think sometimes... Look at these boys. They're just mad. They're best friends. We love each other. We do scorpion tay tay bud bud. And then they do this funny thing where they like sneeze, but it's like a fake sneeze. Mm. I need to open my advent calendar. What day is it today? Third. Oh, actually, I haven't, I haven't probably all got... We have to wait for tomorrow for that one. Because I'm not hidden it or anything. Mm. We'll, do it to, we'll do that one tomorrow. That's the difference with this year. There's a lot more... Yes. ...dynamics. i tell you what, you can then open them tomorrow. You can get one in the morning and one in the evening. Okay, yeah. darling. Yeah. Well, thank you very much to Carolina Herrera. I will be spritzing this good girl tomorrow as my fragrance of the day. I truly could not be any 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 happier with my nails. Oh, looks like Dickie's a fan as well. Here's a little tip um, because last year so many of you actually <laughs> so many of you tagged me in your London Grace um, nail pictures, and you got this exact same design. Oh my goodness, it feels so challenging. Dicky, <laughs> because I found last year if you get the rose gold coming from the top then it actually fades a little bit quicker where you're obviously using your hands um, and then it, obviously the pink is still there but I did find the rose gold actually faded so yeah my top tip would be to get the gold coming from the bottom look how he's prying for my attention you're so cheeky and while I'm giving you a bit of a hand selfie just to let you know that I've actually just spoken to the team at Alex Monroe and they have so kindly extended a discount code which is Josie10 so that's oh, you too so that is for 10% off and this this is really really special because they just don't do discount codes they don't do sales or anything like that Shush, please. Mummy's trying to give a very important notice. <laughs> so yeah, if you are thinking of getting someone something really, really special for Christmas or treating yourself... Shush. Dexy, shush. Shush, please, young man. Um, then I'll leave the discount code and the links to all of these lovely pieces um, down below. Today is definitely one of those days where I cannot wait to take my makeup off, but I'm going to try and make the vlogs a little bit shorter actually because it is taking me so, so long to edit them um, and I feel like they are all pretty long considering it's a daily vlog and um, I know that there are so many vlogs to catch up on during this month, so let me know if you're okay with that if I try to make them a little bit shorter. Um, I'm hoping it's going to snow tonight. The app on my phone says it is, so fingers crossed we're going to wake up to a bit of a white out. I'm very excited to potentially have our first snowy morning tomorrow. Darlings, that is all from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and I will see you bright and early, hopefully in a one-to-one -to -one land tomorrow morning. Good night. Mm -hmm.